Hello and welcome to another video from me. Today we're going to talk about adapting M42 lenses to different Canon EOS SLR cameras. From the analog EOS 600 to the EOS 300, the EOS 1N and the digital Canon EOS 5 DSR. I will give you tips on how to adapt and introduce you to the automatic functions you can use. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any of my interesting and exciting videos. In a previous video I showed you the possibilities of adapting Olympus OM lenses for analog photography to Canon EOS SLR cameras. Now the Canon SLR cameras are looking forward to M42 lenses. M42 is a standardized, manufacturer-independent lens mount in the field of photographic technology for interchangeable lenses with a screw thread, which was used by many manufacturers. The M in the name stands for a metric diameter, the number for the diameter in millimeters. The outer diameter of the thread is 42 millimeters with a pitch of 1 millimeter, height per revolution. The flange focal length is 45.46 millimeters. In 1947, the M42x1 lens mount was introduced in the Practiflex by the Vauxia Jean Batriba, VEB, Camera Werkstätte Niederslitz. There are many camera bodies and a huge selection of lenses from different manufacturers available on the used market, often at reasonable prices. M42 lenses can be adapted to all Canon EOS SLR models built for the EF system. In this video I show you an adapter without a chip. The advantage of the chip is that you get the correct focus setting displayed in the camera and you hear a confirmation signal. All other features are the same. The required adapter, here without a chip, allows a distance setting to infinity without the need for a correction lens built into the adapter. This is a big advantage over a Nikon SLR or DSLR camera, where a lens element is needed to maintain the infinity setting due to the different flange focal lengths. The adapter is simply screwed into the M42 thread of the lens. Problems can occur with some lenses where the rear lens extends well beyond the adapter. In this case, there is a risk that the mirror of your camera could hit the rear lens mount or the lens itself and cause damage. Make sure this is not the case before connecting the adapter to your Canon SLR or DSLR camera. The website shown above and linked in the video description gives you a great overview of hundreds of lenses that can be used without any problems. However, depending on the camera you are using, check the distance between the mirror and the rear lens yourself. M42 lenses can either be stopped down directly when adjusting the aperture ring, or the aperture is set on the lens and only closed by pressing a small pin on the bayonet. On earlier analog SLR cameras, the focus could be set with the aperture open and the lens stopped down only for exposure metering. These cameras had a lever or button to perform this function. Make sure that your adapter pushes in the pin when screwing on a corresponding lens. This is the only way to use these lenses. The adapter shown here works perfectly. The focus is set with the aperture open, the lens is stopped down to the desired exposure value, and the shot is taken. These steps, which are unusual by today's standards, slow down your photography, allow you to focus more on the interaction between time and aperture and the effect of these two parameters. But what are the differences in the operation of your cameras when you use M42 lenses? In a short time travel from the beginning of the Canon EOS system, I have equipped several analog and one digital camera with these lenses, and now I would like to demonstrate the possibilities of light metering. Sure, you don't have autofocus, but other than autofocus and exposure metering, you can use all the functions of your camera as usual. I will start with the Canon EOS 600 but the procedure is also applicable to the EOS 620, 650, 630 and RT models. Your M42 lens is now mounted on the camera and you want to take your first picture with it. Switch on the camera and select the exposure program of E, aperture priority with pre-selection of the desired aperture. Set the aperture to 1.0 with the central control dial. Do not select the maximum aperture of your lens, but aperture 1.0. Your camera will now determine the appropriate exposure time. When you open or close the aperture on the lens, it gives the camera electronics some time to measure the exposure. 
your EOS will determine the correct exposure time. Please remember to always expose negative film, whether color or black and white, in the shadows and reversal film in the highlights, if you are going to project the slides onto the wall with a slide projector. You can also measure exposure in M mode in the same way. The depth function is not available because the camera has no information about the distance to the subject. The Canon EOS 1M from 1994 is even easier to use. You attach the M42 lens, turn the camera on, and the camera displays aperture 00 in AV, P, and M exposure modes, but still shows the correct shutter speed for the aperture selected on the lens. The light meter on this camera also feels faster than on the EOS 600 and EOS 630. It couldn't be easier. You just have to do without the autofocus and the DEF program. However, I always use the AV exposure program because I pre-select the aperture, this time not on the central dial, but in the classic way on the lens. And this program is also my standard setting for all digital SLRs or DSLRs at home. The Canon EOS 300, also known as the KISS 3 or Rebel 2000, behaves similarly to the EOS 1N. The camera also displays aperture 00 when an M42 lens is attached. The exposure metering options are also the same, AV, program automatic or M, manual control can be selected. Program mode is not a full auto mode, of course, because the camera cannot control the aperture. However, if you select this setting and manually change the aperture on the lens, you will get correct exposure. The last camera tested is the Canon EOS 5 DSR. As expected, it reacts fastest when the lens aperture is changed by adjusting the shutter speed. As already described, you can also use the AV, P and M exposure programs with this modern DSLR. When you use TV, the camera measures the exposure time for the selected aperture when you lightly press the shutter release button, as you would when using AE metering. The shutter speed displayed without tapping seems to be the shutter speed at aperture 1.0. This little test showed that as soon as the camera displays the aperture 00 in AV mode, when an adapted M42 lens is connected, the metering is correct depending on the aperture selected on the lens. Even when adapting my Olympus OM, or Carl Zeiss lenses designed for analog photography for the Yashica Contax Bayonet, to analog or digital Canon SLRs, the same picture emerged. So let's go, adapt old glass, not only to mirrorless systems.